<coughs> what is up guys your boy boyo is back and on today's video we're going to be doing a long list of death battle ideas originally this was gonna be a top 10 but there's just way too many for it to be a top 10 I want it to be a countdown but I can't because there's just way too many ideas and before we get started I like to say I've been in the Versus community for quite a long time. I was joined to uh, a Dragon Ball community over on Google Plus, and I'm and I was also joined to uh, a Death Battle community on Google Plus, which I'm actually still joined to to those, to this day. I'm joined in the Death Battle community all over on MeWe, and um. Yeah, and I, and I know how the Versus community is. I know they like to uh, crawl up people's asses if they make the simplest mistake. But if you're going to do that, we have a strong argument. Otherwise, keep your fucking mouth shut. And if you want to talk shit, then you can. But you're better off just going out and fucking yourself. Hate to be mean, but I know how the Versus community is, and I can see all this shit coming from a mile away. I know you guys might not like some of my ideas, but some of these ideas are just things I want to see. Some of these don't even belong in Death Battle. Some of these are just fights I really want to see. And others, they actually should be on Death Battle, from my perspective at least. These are battles that I'd like to see Death Battle do. But if not, if it's a bad idea, then I guess another YouTuber could do it. But, I mean, Death Battle is the biggest um, YouTube channel versus community, but they're not the best. And so I would like to uh, go on ahead and get this out of the way. It's a rather big video that I've been really excited to do and so yeah with all that all out of the way um <clears throat> let's just get straight into it okay um number one is uh Kirito versus Ren now yeah Kirito should never be in death battle well I mean they could put him in there if he wants but I know Sora Art Online is a pretty hated show I already did a rant on that so I'm not gonna go too deep into that but I really do think this would be a good battle especially if it's under the right circumstances now the circumstances I'm thinking I think it should take place in the SA universe, SAO universe in game but Ren should still have his demon powers and I think it'd make a good fight I personally think that if it would just take place in real life, and then, um, we're in the real world within, um, the anime universe, and then Kirito would get his ass kicked. Although Kirito has stopped, uh, many foes, IRL, such as, uh, Sugo, and, uh, that one kid who, uh, who, uh, tried to fuck with, uh, Sinon. Sign on. I, I always forget that kid's name. He actually has defeated people in real life. But I think he'd be stronger in game. And if this is taking place in um, Alfheim, I want to say Alfheim, and because it's the best possible option. And Ren so out of steam powers, then I really think this would make a good fight. Now, some of these actually have multiple options, such as the James Bond battles. I really do think James Bond is Rose's Bond death battle. Because I'm actually... I, I haven't seen the 007 movies, but I do plan on watching them. I'm more fond with the games than I am with the movies, which is the original content, in case you didn't know. But I'm more fond with the games. I played GoldenEye and I played uh, World Sign or not. Sorry, I'm having trouble speaking in these videos. I don't know why. But anyway, 
Jane Spawn's first opponent is Agent J. Now I do like Men in Black. I mean, it's a popular movie franchise, but I think it's something more for its cinemas than um, something actually within uh, the secret agent category. It's, it's popular in cinemas, mainly due to Will Smith, but it's not really that popular when it comes to uh, the whole um, secret agent category. But do I think this would make a good battle? I don't know, because I haven't seen any in 007 movies, and I've only seen like two Men in Black movies. One of which I didn't even watch a full movie. I've seen Men in Black 3 all the way through. I know that much. I think James Bond will win against him. His second opponent is uh, Sam Fisher from Splinter Cell. I've heard of Splinter Cell, but I haven't played it. So, if you think this will make a good death battle, comment below. And his third opponent is uh, Snake. Again, I don't know much about this, but I really do think that the whole secret agent versus bounty hunter idea, I really do think that's a good idea. But that's just my personal opinion. His fourth opponent is throwing Archer, but apparently um, James Bond already appeared in Archer, so I don't know about that one. Okay, now I might get kind of angry on this, uh, Third one, Perry the Platypus versus Earthworm Jim. I don't know much about Earthworm Jim, but again, it's the same with uh, James Bond versus uh, Solid Snake. Um, I really do like um, the whole uh, secret agent versus bounty hunter idea. I really do think Death Battle should uh, explore that area. Um, the whole, uh, secret agent versus bounty hunter idea. I really do think it would be quite awesome. And... I, should Perry the Platypus be in Death Battle? It's hard to say. Because a lot of people like to uh, look down on Disney characters just because everyone thinks it's... Um, uh, everybody thinks that Disney is... A kids franchise, a kid, a company that makes mostly kids movies, and it kind of is. But what you gotta understand is that they do deal with serious issues sometimes. But I'm sick and fucking tired of people looking down on Disney characters. Versus community needs to give Disney characters a chance, and I might be wrong about that. But if I am, then oh well. I really would like to see Perry the Platypus for his Earthworm Jim, so let's just get on to the next one. Harry versus Edward or Frodo. Now, I'm a big fan of Harry Potter, and unpopular opinion coming your way. Um, I actually do think Harry Potter is more interesting than Star Wars. I know that might piss a lot of people off, but hey. It's so my opinion. Everybody has their own opinions. I've, I I like Star Wars. No, I don't like Star Wars. Let me just give my thoughts on Star Wars here for a second. I, don't get me wrong. It deserves the popularity that it gets. But, um... I, I just can't get into it. I'm, I am sorry. I am sorry to all you Star Wars fans, but I just cannot get into it. But I always have been interested in Harry Potter since, um, uh, I think my early teen years. I've really liked Harry Potter, and I really do think it's awesome. But anyway, let's start out with Harry Potter versus um, Frodo. Now what pisses me to fuck off is that People like to fucking compare Lord of the Rings and, um, Harry Potter. 
I've actually expressed this in my top and worst fan bases video, which I deleted because I thought it was too harsh, but I don't think Lord of the Rings deserves to be more popular than Harry Potter. Now, some of you guys may see it differently, but I like Harry Potter better. I do plan on watching the, Harry, uh, the Lord of the Rings movies one day. One of you says I will get around to watching uh, the Lord of the Rings movies whenever I can. But, I mean, seriously... The whole reason I looked down on Lord of the Rings is because, like, people, people are always saying, like, oh, Lord of the Rings is, like, way fucking better. Dumbledore, Dumbledore would get his fucking ass kicked by, uh, uh, Gandalf and all that shit. And, like, I, I just can't fucking stand it. And watch Mojo, they screwed over. The Harry Potter fan base beyond all hell. They made th three separate videos. Three separate videos on Harry Potter vs. Lord of the Rings. And it was part of the whole Versus series. Where they like compare shit. And Lord of the Rings won all three of them. And in most of those videos, Harry Potter got its ass kicked by Lord of the Rings. Now I just cannot stand how people look down on Harry Potter and view... Lord of the Rings as a superior series. I just cannot stand that. I, it really pisses me off. I, I cannot stand that. You know what? I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. Frodo is a pussy. And he needs to get his fucking ass kicked by Harry. Hate to say it. But that's my harsh opinion on the matter. Okay. And as for Harry Potter versus um Edward Cullen... Um, I've actually had this idea for a really long time, since high school actually, because I want to see if Harry Potter's magic can um, go up against Edward's sheer strength and speed. I really do think Harry vs. Edward would be a good battle, but I know people like to look down on Twilight because, I mean, you know how... Back in the day, people would look down on Justin Bieber because he's like, they'd always call him a gay pussy. And I've had my friends tell me, oh, I can kick Justin Bieber's ass. Well, it's the same thing with Twilight. People view Twilight in that same kind of light. You just view it as um, some pussy shit, um, gothic love story, movie franchise. So, Edward may not ever make it in a death battle, but, hey, I personally think it would be a good idea. Okay, um, next is Trevor Phillips versus Russell Northrop. Russell Northrop. <laughs> Forgive me, I'm having trouble speaking in these videos, but I have trouble speaking all the time. But anyway, um, Bully is a very underrated game. And not a whole lot of people knew about it until PewDiePie did a Let's Play of it back in um, late 2012, I think it was. Bully is a really underrated game, in all honesty. And I still know people that haven't heard of it. But yeah, anyway, um, the reason I really want to see Trevor versus Russell is because they both have, like... Immense strength. They're both really, really crazy people. It'll be it'll be a battle of psychopaths. Personally, Trevor Phillips to me is like the king of all psychopaths. But if they took away all of Trevor's weapons, then I really do think he could go up against Russell from Bully. And I really do think it'd be a good battle. But I think Trevor might win, mainly because he's a lot more crazy than Russell. Russell's like the, incre the incredible hawk of bully, but I really do think Trevor vs. Russell would be a good fight, or maybe not a good fight, but an alright fight, because um, they're both crazy, and they both have immense strength, and I really do think it would be an amazing battle, or it would either be an amazing battle or 
an alright battle. It kind of goes both ways, but I personally think Trevor will win because he's an adult and that would probably give him the upper hand. Okay, now, next one is Huey versus Butch Magnus. Um, now, these are both animated sitcom characters from the same universe. And this is one of those battles that shouldn't belong in Death Battle because, for one thing, they both take place in the same universe, and that being the Boondocks. But despite popular belief, Butch Magnus actually got what was coming to him, and um, the whole uh, dodgeball episode of the Boondocks, well, not dodgeball, kickball, he actually did get what was coming to him, but he didn't get what was coming to him in the whole uh, Riley's necklace episode, Riley's chain. Does it mean that fucking thug, he, 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 he got his ass kicked by Butch, but... I mean, this shouldn't be on death battle for various reasons, but I do think it'd make a good fight. Okay, next is Ganondorf vs. Xehanort. I've actually won to see a lot of Kingdom Hearts vs. Legend of Zelda death battles. I really do think this would be amazing. I, I even want to see Sora vs. Link, and believe it or not, there is a Sora vs. Link video on death battle, but it's just a one-minute melee, and I thought it was pretty cool. But I really do think Ganondorf vs. Xehanort would be freaking amazing. Because they're both huge bad guys that are controlling everything from the background. And they both have magical abilities. Xehanort has the power of darkness and yada yada yada. I don't really know that much about Xehanort's abilities, but I do know... Quite a bit about his uh, role in the plot of the overall series, but Ganondorf, I know about his abilities and his um, relativeness to the plot of the Zelda series. It's quite simple to understand of Ganondorf, but I really do think this would be a freaking awesome death battle. Sure, Ganondorf has already appeared on Death Battle recently with uh, Ganondorf versus uh, Dracula. But sometime in the future, I do think this would make a damn good fight. It, it, it really would. Okay, <laughs> and this next one is uh, Peter versus Cartman. Now, I know a dude that did an analysis on Peter versus Cartman. He actually did his own little Death Battle. Now, obviously, this shouldn't appear on Death Battle for obvious reasons. But it did appear on another YouTube channel. I, I forget the name. Just look up Peter vs. Cartman on YouTube and you'll find it. But he did an analysis on Peter vs. Cartman. And, uh... Peter won. Sorry to spoil that for you. But I do think this would be kind of cool. Just because they're, uh... Both maniacal fat asses. Although Peter would obviously win, so... I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have even put that on the list. Okay, next is Goku versus Kirby. People have told me that this is a bad death battle idea. But I personally think it would be fucking awesome just because they're both insanely overpowered. From what I heard, uh, Kirby has had entire planets blow up in his face... And not have anything done to him. And, um, yeah, he's also the most overpowered character in the Nintendo universe. And he can copy people's abilities. So, if Goku goes UI and Kirby uh, inhales him and uses his powers, I do think that would be pretty cool. But... Maybe it should happen, maybe it shouldn't. I don't know. Next is Thanos vs. Jiren. I used to think this would be a good death battle idea, but I later learned that uh, Thanos would kick Jiren's ass because 
he can manipulate um, time, space, matter, reality, etc. And sure, Jiren is untouchable, but he is no match for the manipulation of pretty much everything. That's all I gotta say on that. Next up is Sonic vs. Dash. Um, I do think this would be alright. I, I was originally gonna put... I I thought about putting um, Sonic vs. Flash on here, but as we all know, the DC universe is insanely overpowered. And so I decided to go with Dash vs. Sonic. Now, sure... If you're using, um, like, a version of Sonic from the main series games, Dash will get his ass kicked. But, if we're using, um, the Sonic 06 version, and, um, Dash from the end of Incredibles, the first Incredibles, then I think this might make a good fight, but I don't know. Because from what I learned, uh, Dash can run up to 200 miles per hour, over 200 miles per hour actually, and Sonic can run up to 700 miles per hour, but towards the end of Incredibles, Incredibles 1 that is, um, Dash can actually run on water. From what I heard, he, he, he learns so he gets fast enough to run on water later in the movie. So I mean... I don't know. I'm kind of reconsidering this because I do think even with um, uh, the Sonic 06 version of Sonic, I still think Dash would lose. So maybe that's not such a good idea after all. Next up is Wreck It Ralph versus Mr. Incredible. Surprise, surprise, we have another um, uh, character from Incredibles in here and um let me tell you I, th I thought this would be good it doesn't belong in death battle but let me explain why this doesn't work and I'll also explain why I wanted, wanted it to happen now first um let's explain why I wanted it to happen I wanted it to happen because like the two of They're two of some of the most strongest Disney characters out there. But, um, you see, the difference is wreck -It's raw strength is just raw. It's just raw power. It's just raw brawn. To whereas Mr. Incredible is... I, I want to call Mr. Incredible overpowered, and he kind of is, like... Especially in um, the Pixar universe, because he actually defeated this robot. I really also fought that scene where he fought the robot with three legs. It's pretty cool. And he took down this villain with uh, heavy, high tech. Um, Technology. He took down Syndrome, who had, who was just a character driven by his past and all yada yada. And I really think 